Alrighty, on PS2, this is such a good, this is such a versatile matchup. I always joke about it because this is like the matchup I would do if I was playing against any Roy, period. But Ryguy might have a little more experience with how to play against Cloud. Is we have the double sorties coming in. It's just how they're going to control their space. Cloud gonna be playing a lot more to control the space and Ryguy more playing so to get in. That up B not gonna work for everything against Ryguy though. Because of how safe a lot of uh, Roy's shield pressure is. That back air is such a scary move to punish, even if it's landed high on shield. Helu dying for recovering a little too close to that ledge. Ryguy getting that hitbox on his uppie to send Helu a little further back on the stage. Tries to steal a jump there. Ryguy still on the ledge, doesn't quite get two frame from that dash attack. Gets up smash though for trying to cross up. Pelu shield. Side B coming out from Ryguy. Now, in general, this is really weird against Roy. A nice jab lock into a read, into another side B, sending Pelu off stage. Gonna go out there, the edge guard, I'm getting that nair. Like, I'm trying to talk this, about this matchup, but so far, these characters. Bry guy's just been so explosive this entire time. Bry guy up being out of shield. D just barely whiffs the up smash, but you cannot punish Roy. I mean, Cloud up smash, it's so hard to punish, so you might as well be better off not doing that. Goes for a cross... Blade Slash off the stage, unfortunately going to get gimped from Roy down tilt. That weak angle is such an ugly angle to be launched at. Okay, Pelu switching off to the Byleth. Maybe the maybe the Cloud not doing as much work as he wanted to. Ryguy starting off strong once again. Byleth kind of just gonna recover for free because Roy didn't have much to punish that air dodge. Goes for the forward smash of his life. Not going to quite connect. Peluchito off the stage. Going for the back air. Sending Ryguy off of stage. Getting the landing in there. Not quite high enough percent to get that forward air. Sending Ryguy so low. Not going to quite kill though. I've been learning so much about these characters just from watching them. I didn't know these characters could do all of this. Jab, jab, gonna try to catch a panic option. Doesn't quite connect. Unfortunately, that's lasted of side B going to hit. Right now, they just need one solid hit to put themselves in that stock lead that they need to be in. 120 on Ryguy. Pelu going for the snipe. Pelu going for a bunch of down tilts, making... Ryguy for it, go for that side B, not gonna hit though. Ryguy letting go of shield, so he's going to get hit by that forward air from Byleth. Still, this is really close. Almost gets that uh, nice uppy conversion. Going for all of these B reverse side Bs. Gets his uh, neutral get up caught. Unfortunately, kind of just missing. But getting the Nair, landing hit of Nair into that forward air, 
Rai guy looking really on the brink of not finding an answer right now. Getting that another Nair. Violeth is so scary once they make it into you. Going for a roll read, not gonna quite hit though. Bry guy needs to find this stock and quick. Finally getting the stock even off that weak hit of side B. So I don't want to count Bry guy out of this yet because Roy is such an explosive character. It really only takes him one conversion to get it. 54 damage. 62 damage. Not going to quite kill though. Missing that jab into side B. Roy has a jump still. Saving that for the last moment. Spot dodging the down tilt. Going for another down tilt. That trade's going to work out for Pelu though. Going for the MK Leo clip. Still not working. Goes for the down air two frames. Slightly misses. Unfortunately, going to get caught trying to do a back air off of that platform. Pelu putting himself on the board. It looks like we'll be going on the Smashville now. Raigai looking for a lot less space to work with against the Byleth. A scary situation for Roy there. Just so recovers though without getting hit that much. Unfortunately going to take 29 because Byleth got an up air up B conversion. 69% on Raigai. This might be the goaded percent for him. Hold on. Okay 40% off of that one conversion. Byleth almost not recovering. Getting a jab forward smash. Not going to quite kill. Going all the way out there. Killing Peluchino off of it. Like I said, 69%. Okay, 25. 29. Finally getting him off that 69%. That's all they needed to do. Unfortunately, that landing hit of Nair not going to quite kill. I must compliment uh, Raigai for really knowing the limits of how far he can go off stage. With Roy and Krom, it could be so scary to go off stage if you don't know where you're going because you could just die for it. Peluchito getting a lot of these panic air dodges. We hit a bear into forward smash, slightly miss faces the roll read in. Okay, Rai guy getting sent off stage. Pelu going for that nair, not gonna quite connect. Goes for up air to catch him, trying to two frame him. Another up air coming out, and another up air. Looks like we're gonna be calling by with Mario for now on with all the up airs he's going for. Goes for a double side B. Unfortunately, Pelu whipping that dash attack, getting whacked in the face for it. A shield break coming in from Pelu. <laughs> Pushed him off the stage. That was such a good shield break from Pelu just to drop it. Getting sent at a horrible angle. Pelu missing the down air though. Rai guy is still in a really bad situation. Gets back aired once again. Pelu going for that Nair, still fumbling the ledge trap. Now that Rai guy's got his hands on him, it might be a bit scary, but that side B launching him off. Getting forward aired, one, two, three percent. And getting forward aired once again for trying to go for that aggressive option. Pelu winning the second game.
Okay, it looks like Ryguy will be switching onto that Krom. Don't know how to feel about that. But maybe it'll work a little better just because Ryguy was getting a lot of those sour spots. Goes for the most random up smash. Not going to quite get that up throw up air though. Going for the up B. Not going to quite get punished for it. Do it again. You didn't punish me correctly. 48% on Ryguy. Going for up B again. Okay, getting that down tilt. Not going to quite get the forward smash. Up air, the combo break there. Hello, getting jab back aired. That Jair is such a strong move, and it works on Roy and Krom. It's not like a character-specific thing. Tries to go for a suicide kill there. It's slightly ducking under that uh, upward-angled forward smash coming from Pelu. Jab, jab. Pelu just saying, running back, saying, I'll take all that stage. Give me all the stage you can give me. Still mistiming that forward smash just by a little. Raikai air dodging back the stage does not want to deal with that forward smash. Sweet spotting him. Gets the down tilt and the up air. Not going to quite connect yet. Krom living to crazy percents. Unfortunately going to get hit by that bottom hitbox of side B. Pelu in the air, getting grabbed. To be fair, it's so scary against Krom because you go for that jab, you're going to get hit. But you can also get grabbed because you're just... Pelu not recovering. So the thing I was trying to say is that Krom has pretty much auto-conditioning because of all of his good aerials. But he can get so much off of those grabs too. Getting the, the jab in there... Trying to go for the combo, just not quite connecting. 55% on Pelu, left unanswered. Gets the jab into Nair. 81% on Pelu still. Getting so much extra credit off of this one stock that he's allowed to live. 89%. Byleth going in for the dash attack whack. Still not going to convert that down smash. Nice roll read coming in. Up air. Going for that back air. Not going to hit though. Goes for the nair into up air. 52 damage on Ryguy. Looking really scary right now. Back air. Going all the way out there. Still not going to kill. He still, he can't go quite as far as Roy would because of his vertical distance recovery. Going for ledge trump there. Pelu left without iframe. Still mistiming that forward tilt two frame though. And getting that down tilt into fair. Getting another fair. Still not going to kill him. Getting the sour spot of side B. Not going to kill. And Pelu resetting that bracket. Okay, and I'm back. It looks like they'll be running it on PS2 now.
Okay, it looks like Ryguy coming in with a hot start. Suicide killing Pelu because he was DIing out, it seems. Ryguy is so good at his frame traps, just keeping Pelu at this ledge, getting that up the 52%, 63. 71 going for another jab back air not gonna quite kill hold on he might have tried to jump out of the jab back air unfortunately so violet was not able to recover there Rai guy getting a game on the board this is grand finals reset so whoever wins this will win it all Running it back once again. The Krom versus the Byla. On PS2, no problem with the stage. Getting 43, 45% just off that one combo. 46%. Looks like Ryguy just slowly inching the take stage that up the not connecting. Panic air dodging in. Unfortunately, Pelu a little slow to do it. Now he's at ledge. Gets sniped though. Goes in for another arrow. That arrow is such a good move to go to approach me, and you don't know when Byleth is just gonna put it away too. Back air catching Ryguy. Ryguy going for up B. Still not safe enough. DIing in, getting that jab into side B. Goes for the down B. Air, not gonna quite connect. Jab back air, gonna seal out that stock. Pelu and Rai guys still on that even stocks. 72% on Rai guy, getting that up B, gonna break out. It's such a good tool because it has air mobility invincibility and the ground invincibility along with how much damage it does in general. It's such a good tool to just throw out there sometimes. Goes for the down air. Unfortunately, Ryguy kind of just DI'ing the right way so he doesn't get hit. Going for the wave bounce. Tries to catch him with that up B. Is still not going to hit. Pelu looking for that up smash. Just hasn't been able to get it at all. Pelu slightly spacing out Ryguy's dash that grab. Ryguy kind of jabbing for his life right now, but who can blame him? Goes for that doubt, that forward smash, still not going to kill. Pelu realizing he can't get anything off of it. Ryguy getting that bow read. Unfortunately, Ryguy is still living to really good percents. And got that stock off of Pelu. This second stock is doing a lot of work for Ryguy right now. But right as I say that, he gets whacked by that Byleth dash attack. There, fair, fair. Knew that he could not quite convert it to the uppie. Gets spiked, but DI's in. Gets back aired. Gets DI's in still. Almost gets forward smash there, but Ryguy looking really wary of it. Ryguy getting his roll red. Ryguy playing really patient. Now they're back in neutral, just trying to find a solid hit. There's that nair. Side B coming in. Another side B coming in! Unfortunately, just wasn't quite ready to punish it from Peluzin. Getting the jab into the nair. Dash grabbing on accident. Up tilt, still not gonna kill, but that up air will. Pelu 
getting a game as well. No hesitation. Like at first I said this Violet isn't the pick, but just seeing from how Pelu was able to keep this up, I'm starting to think he, that Violet is such a good pick against Krom and Roy. Okay, Raigai just dashing in the Pelu shield, trying to bait any sort of panic option, still just shielding though, so he's able to get a grab at 71% off of it. Down tilting, you know, it's kind of a fast move, so even if you spot dodge it, he can just down tilt once again. Goes for that upbeat, probably trying to expect Pelu going just a little too far. But getting that Nair into forward air, gonna get that stock off of Bry Guy. Back air. Getting the jab in the forward air, not gonna kill. Which I will say with Krom, it is a little harder to get that jab in the back air because of how Krom's jab sends. Tries to go for a tomahawk grab. Pelu just nairing though. N not ready to tech that. Bry Guy losing a stock because of it. Getting jab back here though. Pelu just really needs to hold this lead, not go for anything too ambitious. But Krom and Roy is such a good character to play from a defic deficit as well. Getting the back air. And getting that down tilt into forward air. Not gonna kill though. Pelu trying to go for another stage fight. Getting that nair. Goes for a forward smash. Maybe expecting him to rush in. Unfortunately, nair not gonna. I mean, jab back air not gonna connect. Bry guy just trying to keep him in the corner. Jab back air still not gonna kill. You can't go too far against Violet, otherwise they're going to spike you themselves. Pelu just looking for anything that can kill right now. Raigai looking really good right now. Unfortunately, recovers a little too high and gets Violet back aired. Pelu making those necessary adaptations. Switching back to the Roy, maybe thinking he's getting a lot more off of that Roy. Three, two, one, go. We're at this game for scenario. Which I will say, Pelu has been playing neutral so great. Just staying out of Rai Guy's burst range this entire time. Which is something some people can struggle with the G because of how fast Roy is. It can be a bit hard to keep up. Like, both these players are so patient. As you can see, did you see how far Roy could go after uh, Helu whiffed that up smash from that distance? Going for the snipe, take, almost taking the stock off of Raigai there. Raigai getting his recovery caught. Unfortunately, still not getting the stock off. Now the rolls are reversed. Helu is in that corner. Bry guy dashing in just a little too far and getting up tilted for it. Jab in the side B, not gonna kill. Getting the dash attack.
Kalu really playing neutral good right now. Okay, Kalu getting that back air. One stock away from losing this and having to go to a game five scenario. Rai guy looking really aggressive right now, but he has the lead right now and Roy really struck, really does good out of a lead and in the lead. Jab back air, not gonna kill quite yet. Jab side B, unfortunately whips it just a little getting there into dash attack. Last stock right now. There into that, it's 47% off of one combo. 53, 68. Nice pool coming from Raigai. Unfortunately, getting a little too ambitious with that forward smash. Getting the Nair, getting another Nair. Misses the reverse aerial rush back air though. 100% on Raigai. Pelu really not wanting to go to another game. Both of them realizing right now how pivotal this moment is. Right guy getting the forward throw. And getting the up air, going to seal that out. Hello, winning the tournaments.